I built this massive 800 plus square foot aviary just for these guys, complete with plants and perches galore, enrichment all over the place, and today we're going to be taking our very first tour of it. Well, I figure we start from the beginning here because you might recognize this area as the area of our old aviary. So it is still completely functional up here and right now I have it set up for our new friend here uh, to keep away from the others while he's in quarantine, of course. But basically you have access to both aviaries directly from the house. No chance of any escapes as you're bringing them out. And we start here, as you can see, we have a nice stairway here to go down and a door. And here we are. So starting off from the beginning, you're greeted by Lalo, of course. I have a chair over here. King in the castle, king in the castle. I have a chair, I have a chair. Uh, it definitely needs to be cleaned currently, but I can sit out here and enjoy the birds. And I often do. Moving through, we have Beatrix here with our little station of foraging. They can forage on a fresh papaya, whole papaya. What you got there, buddy? Blueberry? Mmm, lovely. We have some mixed fruits here. Today we have banana, watermelon, and blueberry. And of course, our papaya. Beatrix might want a little blueberry here. You wanna come get one? Come on. Oh, Lalo wants it. <laughs> you want it, buddy? Here. Oh, you want to catch? There we go. That'll do, since she doesn't want to come over to us today. <laughs> Hello, Rhea. You got some harsh shadows on you today, huh? Moving on, we have all our plants, which we'll go over later provided by many of our lovely supporters. So thank you guys so much for that. And thank you so much to our patrons and everybody else that donated to help make this possible. Um, Cause it ended up being a lot more expensive than I anticipated. Continuing on, we have two large ropes that go across the middle, along with the two center point trees, which of course perches are fixed to more easily from the sides to help bring some support and extra perching, and they just look nice. Here we have a little bathing and drinking area that you can see is sagging right now. I really need to get another stick over there and push it back up, because it's it's got some droop now, but not a huge deal. It still works just fine. Moving past, we have this lovely papaya tree that's just huge that I managed to find locally for actually pretty cheap. And then I'm also growing a bunch of other papaya trees, some of which I started from seed. And then if we go back here, these little areas, they can get up higher, which I wasn't really too keen on at first, but I've grown to accept it. They like to get up there and I can understand why they'd wanna be able to see up high out the little window and have a little bit of cover and shade. So we're gonna allow them to do that. <laughs> But this whole area has feeding and extra watering. Like here we have our pellets, Missouri pellets. Ow, what was that for? Are we gonna be mean today? You gonna follow me around all the time and try to bite me for the entire video? Ah. Little dinosaur. <laughs> Okay, we'll move on to the corner here, where it's just extra shelves and water. 
so they're not forced to always be in the same area. If two, more than one of them wants to take a bath then or drink, then there's plenty of areas for them to do that. I'm kind of thinking in the future I might put some extra perches up along here so that they're, they don't have to get over there, you know, to get up high if they want to. And see how her tail feathers are like fanned out like I was mentioning in the last video. And same with Jade way over. Oh, well, now you can't really see her because she's up in the corner, but. <laughs> there we go, now you can kind of see it back there. The mesh is um, galvanized, steel, coated, and this, uh, I think it's a PVC coating, but I really like the black because not only does it protect from rust and that sort of thing, although it's galvanized, of course, but an extra layer of protection, but also it look like it just kind of disappears when you're far away from it. So if we step back here, like you can see, you can hardly see it there. This has a lot more of a clean look. It looks less like a cage, which is, you know, what I want this to feel like. I don't want it to feel like a enclosure for them. I want it to feel like their own little habitat, so like kind of a little pocket rainforest, if that makes sense. With these misters, I did end up getting a little bit of a pump just because it was so hot earlier in the year. But it gets the job done actually pretty well, so. Got a little food on your beak there, Beatrix. Might want to get the base of it instead of just the very end of it <laughs> when you're wiping there. But there you have it guys, our brand new aviary, and I can't wait to start doing more videos out here. Can come say hi, Lala? Okay, you're not gonna bite me this time? Yeah, look out, now he's being good. Let's try not to bite us anymore, huh? Yeah, as long as he's got blueberries in his beak, he will not bite me. Oh, you're not ready for another one yet? Okay. There, very gentle, good, big boy. You want one too? Keep blueberries in my pocket. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just very excited to have this and I can't thank all of you enough. Without our patrons and supporters who just generally donated outright to the aviary or just to us in general so that we can or I can achieve my dream of having a toucan sanctuary. When I, say, I know I say we a lot. When I say we, I mean collectively like me and the birds, but obviously it's my dream to have the sanctuary. And I do really want to try to still get the nonprofit ball at least rolling before the end of the year. Of course, it's gonna cost money to get that started. But um, anyways, all of you that have just been so generous and so kind and patient with me, um, I know it took so long to get this done and everyone was so excited to see it. So I just thank you guys so much for just being patient with that. Um, I can't believe it's finally here. It's just, I, I'm really proud of it. I hope you guys are too. Um, I think it's the start to something really great.
you know and well it seems my camera cut off there and i did not realize it until i started editing but maybe it's good after all because i started getting a little emotional and god knows that i don't need to be crying on youtube anymore <laughs> But um, I just want to say thank you to all you guys. And I ended up cutting quite a bit out of this video of me going over the plants. And I just kind of figured that it would be better served in its own video, like plants for toucans or something along that line. Um, or maybe part of an enrichment video. I'm not really sure yet. You're probably seeing some footage right now of me talking about it, but going over that footage, not only did it make the video another half hour video, which I wanted to try to avoid, but also somebody started having their lawnmower going and the audio, like the background noise was just uh, unbearable, at least to me. But I do want to thank everybody that made it possible for this to happen. So many people sent us money for plants and mesh and just little miscellaneous items that we needed for the aviary. So starting off with Stacy, she actually sent uh, not only a Majesty Palm, but 150 feet of mesh through our Amazon link. Velociraptor and Storm Crazy Iowan sent us a banana tree. BK44488 sent us a banana tree as well. Spectre sent us a fig tree. Jennifer sent us a guava tree. Amy sent us a papaya. And Beth the Toucan and Lightning Bolt sent us split a papaya. So thank you guys so much. We also have Deborah Zacher and Shannon Wells that both sent us 50 foot of mesh. Again, through our Amazon link, which we'll have more stuff there. We still need cameras and plastic to cover the aviary during the winter, for instance. If you guys still want to contribute, there's plenty of opportunity to, and it's greatly appreciated. I know the birds would say thank you if they could. In addition to that, Daniel Revin sent $200 for the aviary. Foxy sent $50. Alex Hodson sent $50. Robert Press sent $100. Velociraptor and Storm Crazy Iowan sent 25. Emily Gorin sent 50. Tamsin Ray sent 200. And Elizabeth Wojtasek. Wojtasek? Hopefully I'm saying that right, Elizabeth. I'm sorry. But she sent 50. So thank you guys so much. Again, I can't even begin to describe how grateful I am for all this. It's a dream come true to even just get a little bit of this started and I can't wait to share more of the birds and I with you in this as we're moving forward. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Or if you're unable to do such a thing, a simple subscribe, like, or comment on the video does wonders for the algorithm. Thanks again and we'll see you guys very soon.